Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard, and today we're doing yet another Pick Universe update where today's video will be all about animatronics, details, and much more theming going to each of the lands as we're in the final home stretch because this park will start soft opening in just several months. Starting off in the Isle of Birth, let's look at the um, fire drill attraction. Look, all the boats are lined up for probably rapid testing mode. This is probably what will be close to look like uh, the finish line, you know, all the boats be this tightly post uh tightly together as yeah this will be a slow moving boat ride and it'll be shooting at all the targets and look at all those targets right there i mean here's a closer look at how densely packed in those fake trees are i'll be shooting out all those 2d dragons and trees and fire you gotta put out all those fires it looks like a really really chaotic and very fun attraction for everyone we're in the other parts of the island break here's just an overview of the whole kind of land area Look at everything looks so fantastic. There's um Kane's putting finishing touches on the rest of the land, but a lot of cool stuff going on here. A lot of basically a finished product. They just really gotta put many of the pathways in then but you can tell me it's just about completed, which is pretty cool. Seeking into the um Spitfire Grill area, area, you can see the dragon's been painted and there's a little archway uh, kind of entrance into that plaza area over here. Spitfire reel is going to be. Nothing else is carved out, just got to be painted, which it will be over the next few weeks. Speaking of entrances, here entrances to the uh, Mead Hall here. I just got to paint the uh, statues. There's just some leftover scaffolding over the doorway, but other than that, the rest of the mossy hill looks fantastic. Here's the entrance and exit to the roller coaster. Here's the entrance is to the left, and the exit of the gift shop is to the right. The gift shop is almost fully painted. Um, and the entrance is has the dragon head painted. Um, the rest still has to get painted. And you can see lots of supports for what will be an outdoor queue. But with some definite tarps and coverings. Themed pavement continues to get installed around the roller coaster. And here is again a lot of those um, supports for eventual tarps. But it looks to be a mostly covered queue. It'll be an outdoor queue. But it looks a mostly covered queue for the wing gliders roller coaster. And then there is the entrance to the proper queue. In the station over to the right and there's the exit barn 2 to the uh, right as well here's some tarps over the viking uh, training camp area and look at those play uh, look at that playground equipment it's absolutely fantastic i am curious if i know it's not fully done so i'm, I'm curious if those poles will be themed right now the poles are massive and the tarps are you know, kind of small inside there and they're these interesting colors i didn't expect them to be green I wonder if that is the final, that probably is the final color, but I wonder if those poles will still be brown. I feel like they'll be painted or themed, because look at the Viking training camp poles. Those are painted and themed kind of Viking colors and, 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 and texture, so I'm curious if that will happen over um, here as well. Up building to the right is the team member building backstage. Looking at the uh, bay area over here where the coaster is, the wing gliders is diving in and out under the bridge there. They're Painting the ground, they're starting, that's probably the first primer paint. When you get to the Celestial Park area, a lot of this uh, will be blue. You'll see a lot of blue paint, so I'm curious if they, this bay, this this body of water here, paints, paints it blue to kind of blend in and before the water gets poured in. But that, when that paint, the since they're painting the bottom of the bay there, you know, they're almost done, uh, which is good. And that means everything else in the bay is painted and completed. Overview shot again of fi uh, fire drill the attraction. Look at all those boats. I mean, that's pretty. If they can really, if that's how they're gonna run it. That spacing with the boats, it's a pretty high capacity attraction there. I'm curious if they'll put even more more boats if they're using all the boats right now. But it's like again, really really fun attraction for the entire family. Moving over to Celestial Park, you can see some fine fishing details on the domes of some of these restaurants here in the park. Overview shot or that's not the restaurant. Those are the Guest guest services in front of front of park stuff. Here's more front of park stuff. You can see those domes you're just looking at. The Kronos looks fantastic. And the pavement, that's when you enter the park. Or that's before you enter the park. That swirly pavement as uh, the entrance plaza is the universe itself. Again, there's that blue I saw about the blue that, that's been painted. There's still more blue being painted on those uh, the, the cascading lakes and waterfalls of Celestial Park itself. Over at the Luna Overlook, you can see the statue was still being under construction right there. And again, some of that 
blue pavement has made its way to the cascading waterfalls and the entrance buildings continuing these are probably the ticketing and guest relations and all that good stuff this is from the other side now um by the chronos portal you see the portal has been paint painted black i'm thinking we'll get a closer shot of that soon but yeah the ticketing structures look fantastic and there's a little opening plaza with lots of landscaping and trees it looks really really good i can't wait to see that finished product there is again that, um black paint on the portal there i wonder if that's the final color if they'll be uh or if they'll, it'll be gold like kind of the rest of the rest of the emblems there but it looks looks good and into celestial park Colon station carousel looks pretty much complete on the exterior you see still a lot of scrim up on the interior with the white walls so they're still installing a lot of uh of the figures which is cool and then there's the astronomica um, water splash pad area which they're calling an attraction which it could be an attraction it's especially for, for children there it's getting its prints and its final design and pavement laid out which is pretty cool starfall racers entrance looks pretty grand and pretty complete and there's even some figures being installed at the front probably um which will debut the wait time lines for express and um over at the dark universe the topper has finally been installed is finally in the process of being installed for the manor a monsters unchained attraction looks fantastic all scaffoldings down from the attraction except from that center piece or yeah center area where the um top is being installed there's a closer sh uh shot at the topper piece right there looks absolutely fantastic and i'm glad to see it finally ins installed and there's some side pieces that will be installed you can see it's in staging we'll see that in a little bit later here's one of those there's one of the turrets that will he installed on the top of the manor. Um, this is hanging out by the exit to the attraction. So that's pretty pretty awesome. And again, these will have like lighting effects that you saw from the video, which is pretty cool. The entrance to Curse of the Werewolf is complete. The standby wait time and single it looks like there's three lines. So it'll be standby express and probably a single rider line, which is awesome. And they have the you know the two like witches carriages here. A lot of witches stuff going on here. These kind of make sense because you know, uh, it's kind of more familiar because I don't know if you guys watch Agatha all along, but that's my witchy show on Disney Plus. Um, so it's cool to see like these witches caravans here because it's kind of a, like a really witching season for Halloween. But the Curse of the Werewolf cute looks fantastic and done lots of landscaping, to provide lots of natural shade, which is good for this nice, very small but very themed family coaster. <laughs> Again, some shots of Darkmoor. Darkmoor Village looks. Just about complete, which is awesome. Cannot wait to try this steakhouse. It'll also be a nice makeup horror makeup experience for everyone here. Probably not Tracy, I'm sure, but it'll be very cool for everyone. I really love this iconic entrance, as you can see um, from the front there. Now, let's head over to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, the Ministry of Magic. The Arc Day Triumph is getting the final colors and painting there. Um, love the entrance. Now, this entrance also has a, a black ring. Again, I'm not sure if that's the final color there, but it would make the entrance, the portal entrance, much more, uh, make much more sense with that black color there. But Arc Di Triumph getting some aging and texture, which looks fantastic. And this land, since all the facades are done, it's mostly an indoor land with lots of indoor shops. And of course, the ride is indoor and the show is indoor. What you can see here is lots of color on the buildings. So the buildings are very distinctly Parisian, but they also have like that. Harry Potter theme park flair with all this color. There's different really cool pops of color you can see on every single one of these buildings. Here's the, the statue. This is where the ride entrance is, or the buildings to the right is where the ride entrance is, and they're working on the awning for the Metro flu right there. And remember, I can read these words last time. This time it says, I can read it perfectly thanks to my reconstruct's photo. It says, Parakta Magica MDCCXC. I don't know if, I don't know if that's an acronym or a word. But the statue looks pretty massive. Again, the buildings are five stories. This statue comes about like two or three stories, which is pretty awesome. Should be like very massive in scale. Again, more pops of color along the street. This is the street to the right entrance. I'm sure these streets will have names. Hopefully they'll have names um, when we go on it. Now you can see there's uh, uh, some shops, a logo for a shop at that corner. And string lights. I love string lights in any city. We have some string lights here on 5th Street in downtown LA. They look 
absolutely fantastic. So I'm excited for these street lights to be strung up and walk down the street at night. Because it really looks like a nice Parisian cafe. Here's that corner shop. I'm not sure if this is shop you'll be able to go into. I feel like it is, though, because it does have a logo and it seems it's on a prominent, busy intersection. This might be the wand shop, but it says uh, a G, it looks like, when I, I see there. So you guys see what that eventually will be. And another pop of color here. And a little alleyway you can go into. I really like the purples and pinks that are on this street of the Wishing World Land. And here's that forced perspective area that's being built. You see the staircases are being filled in now. And it's going to be more forced, pers more forced perspective -y than ever before. And there's the dome sitting backstage getting ready to be installed on that black tarp area. And here's another shot of that. But here's the backstage area. And there's that kind of diagonal alley. Not the backstage, but the you know, hidden dark alley. Kind of like the diagonal alley section over to the right there. That looks very creepy, airy weathered and uh really um really well themed there and lastly for the harry potter area you can see um probably exit uh some stage staircases left and the phoenix over where that area is getting ready to be installed in on the park day trial over at super nintendo world you see lots of pops of color here and all the painting for at least some of these sections is almost done. Yoshi's is testing, the vehicles are covered, and lots of scaffolding to paint the bridge and some of the other sections of the ride, but most of it is pretty much complete. Over at the uh, Mario Kart entrance, Bowser's head continues, continues to get worked on, and the upper levels with the games and some animatronics continue to get installed with, again, more beautiful pops of color. Here's Peach's castle, and and see some of the turrets are on uh, a different uh, like a roof so it's gonna really amp up the force perspective there which is be great their pages castle look much better than ours of course because they'll have the proper pages castle and one of the turrets is being painted pink and for the next update all that should be painted white and pink just like the castle at home and in japan and here's the entrance. Yes, we finally got the warp pipes being installed. We have the blue and red one, and then the tallest one will be a green one being installed at the warp pipe entrance. That's a Nintendo warp. More shops, uh, shots of the Mushroom Kingdom. There's a meet and greet air area where you meet all the characters in the center there. That is currently being installed with the staircases and no a topping for Toast Soul Cafe yet, but we'll eventually get that in the next few months. All right, Donkey Kong Country. Lots of theming here. Continuous testing on the coaster as well. And there's a gift shop, I believe, under construction right next to the meet and greet. Or no, that meet and greet area is under construction. And the next to it, I believe, is a gift shop. I do believe it is a snack shop. But yeah, so we have the meet and greet area and a snack shop behind the coaster. And look at that broken uh, broken chain there right next to that screaming pillar. I'm sure there'll be some sound effects coming from that. And again, there's another water area that is painted blue. Sorry, that. I'm sure most of the, the Isle of Burke will paint blue as well as this land continues to come into more focus. Here's the proper entrance to the Donkey Kong attraction, Minecart Madness attraction. So you're going through a little warp pipe, but also a potential plane here. It looks like kind of a broken plane, just like what's going on at the land's main gift shop at the main entrance. And the theme payment and rock work has been installed. Minecarts are continuously testing the C2 in the station, one coming out and one in the station right now. There's a Dixie Conning animatronic that will be greeting you as soon as you make that first turn out of the state. Here's the land's main gift shop. It's almost fully complete. Um, just some scaffolding around the edges there. Some final painting work. And this is right next to that snack shop in the meet and greet area. Um, so lands, it's not too big. But, you know, it is quite big when you combine the Super Nintendo World and, um, or sorry, the Mushroom Kingdom and the Donkey Kong area together. And that's it for this week's uh, epic universe update that yeah. uh i thought maybe uh, there wouldn't be too much to talk about as final details start coming in but we're already in 15 minutes which is pretty awesome if you like this video press that thumbs up button if you want to subscribe definitely consider subscribing and if you want to help support the channel out even more and get early access to videos just like these um become a youtube member click the membership button below and as always have a big day thank you very much for